Hello friends, in previous part we have seen brief introduction of tutorial, with database discussion, now we have start creating follow unfollow system. For make any system, first we have to make user registration form, and after this we have to make login form. This is because, only authenticate user can access our system, so now let's start creating registration form. So this is our working folder, there is total 8 PHP file in this folder, and one images folder for store user profile image. For register new user, so we have open register.php file, and here we want to make register form, so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post. For enter username details, we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to username, under this field new user can enter his login details. Same way for enter password details, here we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to password, here user can enter his password details under this field. Now, for validate password, so we want to re-enter password again, so here we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to confirm password. Now for submit registration details, we have write input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to register, by click on this button user can submit their details. Below this we want to link login page, so here we have write anchor tag with href is equal to login.php, by click on this link page will be redirect to login page, which we will make later. Now, we have start write php code, so first we want to make database connection, so we have open database connection.php file. And here we have write, dollar connect is equal to nuke class, with mysql host set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. Now we have go to register.php page, and here we have write include statement with database connection.php, it will make database connection on this page. After this, we have write session start function, it will start session on this page. Below this we have write dollar message variable is equal to blank value, in this variable we will store validation error message. Now we want to restrict to access this page to login user, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar session user id variable. This condition will check, if this variable value is set that means user has login into system then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write header method, and under this we have write location set to index.php, it will redirect page to index.php. Now we have moved to validate form data for registration, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post register variable. This condition will check, if this dollar post register variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. 
Under this block first we want store form data under local variable, so here we have write dollar username variable is equal to trim function, and under this we have write dollar post username variable. After this we have write dollar password variable is equal to trim function, and under this function we have write dollar post password variable. After this we need to check particular username already registered or not, for this we have write dollar check query variable is equal to select star from Twitter user table, where username is equal to double colon username. This query will check, particular username data available or not in database. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar check query variable, it will make query for execution. Now we have write dollar check data variable is equal to array with key double colon username with value get from dollar username variable. After this we want to execute select query, so we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this we have write dollar check data variable. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have again write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with row count method value greater than zero. This row count method return number of row affected by query execution, and if it is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar message variable is equal to string message like username already taken. But suppose above condition false, that means particular username not available in database then it will execute else block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write empty function with dollar username variable. This empty function check, dollar username variable has some value or not, it has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar message variable is equal to username is required. Below this, we have again write, if statement, and under condition, we have write empty function, and under this function, we have write dollar password variable. If dollar password variable has no value, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to password is required. But suppose dollar password variable has some value, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block we need to check value of password is match with confirm password. For this, here we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar password variable value is not equal to dollar post confirm password variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to password not match message. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar message variable value is equal to blank, 
If this variable value is blank that means no any validation error has been generated, and form data is proper. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key double colon username value get from dollar username variable. In second key, we have write double colon password value get from password hash function with two argument like dollar password variable and password default. This function will convert simple password into hash string format. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into login table with column like username and password and values get from double colon username and password below this insert data query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this we have write dollar data variable. If query successfully run, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to registration completed string message. Now we want to display validation message on web page, so, here we have write echo statement with dollar message variable, it will display validation message, now we have check output in browser. Friends. Here we can see registration form with three details like username, password, and confirm password, and below we can see login form link also. Now first we have check validation working or not, so we have directly click on register button, so we can see message like username and password is required. Now we want to check with registered username, we can again register into system, so in username field we have write John Smith as username, and click on register button. After click on register button, we have received username already taken validation message on web page, so here are this validation working properly. Now we want to check password, and confirm password match validation working or not, so in username, we have enter Jacob Martin, in password field we have enter password, and in re-enter password field we have enter password 123, and click on register button. After click on register button we have received validation error message like password not match on web page, so this validation working properly. Now we have enter proper user details like, in username field we have enter Jacob Martin, in password field we have enter password, and in re-enter password field we have enter password. After this we have click on register button, after click on register button, we have received registration completed message on web page, now we have go to twitter user table. Here we have can see Jacob Martin user details, which we can see here, and in password field we can see password has been stored in hash string format. So, this way new user can register under this, follow unfollow application by using this register form.
In next part, we will discuss how to make login page for follow unfollow system in PHP using Ajax jQuery. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.